there, Wizard of Tenry Potter 999 here, and today I'm going to be going over a basic tutorial on how to play League of Legends. Note that this tutorial is mostly for new players who are new to League, but some people can also learn a couple things from this video. So I'm going to be cr creating a custom game against bots to show you pretty much all the aspects of League. So I'll be right back. Alright, and I'm back, and now we are in the Champion Select screen of League of Legends. When you first enter the screen, screen, you will be given a bunch of champions. Note that I have already bought some champions, so that's why I have all of these. Usually you'll start out with a basic row of champions, or the free champions of the week. So yeah, and then here you have your team set up, and here you have the enemy team. Note that it won't always give you this, it will give you their usernames instead of the champion they have. And here are your spells that you can choose, which you can use, but they, warning, they do have a long cooldown. And over here you have your rune pages, and I will save that for a later video, and here you have your mastery pages, also for another video. So I am going to be choosing the champion called Teemo. Captain Teemo on duty! And as you see, every time when you choose a champion, they give you a certain line that they say. So then you press walk in. And then if you have any skins for the champ, then you can choose them, but unfortunately I do not. So I'm going to be going with the classic skin. Alright, and we're back. And so after the champion select screen, we go into the loading screen. And here you have all the champions, your team and the enemy team, and then their loading percentage. There are summoner spells, there's summoner icons, there are usernames on top, and for your champion, you have a little green number over here. This represents your ping for in-game. Alright, so we are now loaded into the game, and we are now into the base. So, this is pretty complicated. Here you have the mini-map of the entire map. Here you have your pings that you can use to communicate to your team. This is your champion info, your scoreboard, your option screen, and camera. Here is the team kills and team kills versus enemy kills. Here is your kills, your deaths, your assists, minions killed, and this is the game time. Right here you have your FPS, your frames per second. And here you have your little ping number right here. And then over here, you have your team with their health and mana bars. Here is your champ, your items, your stats, and this is your abilities and skills right here. So all, all champs have particular skills and abilities that they have, and you can level these up when you press the adding button on here. So now you see I have my toxic shot ability, which is a passive ability meaning it will happen even though I don't want it to, and so on. Here, you have your shop, you can buy items, and build items to get better items, and then so forth. And then now we are going to our spot in our lane. There is the top lane over here, mid lane, and bottom lane. Each lane has a certain number of people that can go in here. Top lane has two people, mid lane has one person, and bot lane has two people. And so usually there would be a tank and a mage on top, and then a mid character that would be useful for mid. And then for bottom you would have a support champion and a ADC champion, and attack damage carry. That reminds me, all champions <laughs> Sorry, I have a bit of a cough right now. All champions ha are based on a different, on a specific type of damage. Mages and some champions are based on magic damage, like my champion right here. And attack damage champions are based on attack damage. So I'll get back into that when I have enough gold to buy items. And so yeah. And right here are your minions that you get to kill for gold, like you see right there. And then whenever you kill a minion, you get gold, and you level up, and then you can buy another skill. Every time you level up, you gain access to another skill that you can level up. 
And once you get to level 18, then you stop leveling up, and that's pretty much your skills are maxed out by that point. So, right here you see this tower looking kind of structure. Basically what that does, you have to destroy that in order to get to the enemy base. So whenever you do that, then when you get all the towers, you win, pretty much. Alright, so now you see that I am low on health. So here I have a health potion, which has the number 2 key slot. So I press 2, and then I start regaining health, and I consume the potion. And then here we have the brush. Basically, if you go into the brush, you'll be unseen and undetected unless someone goes into the brush and finds you. So you can pretty much just sit here and just wait until someone comes by and you can pretty much ambush them. Note that a lot of champions have some ranged abilities that they can fire off into the brush to damage you if you happen to be there. And so you see, I leveled up again. I'm gonna level up my E ability again. And so, yeah. So, and these minions come in waves, in about six per wave. They come in in about every, I don't know, seconds, but yeah, they come periodically to come. And so basically, don't let the enemy minions advance, and but do try to let your advent, your minions advance, so by killing the other team's minions. And as you see, I am most likely about to kill. No, I did not kill him yet. All right, so I am just going to go over here. First blood. Never mind. Someone got first blood. And every time when you kill an enemy, you get gold from it. A pretty decent amount of gold, actually. And so, yeah. Uh, we're just gonna clear this minion wave. And, okay, they're trying to go after me. And then I'm going to use my Sumner spell that you saw in the Champion Select screen, which was my F, which was Ignite. And so right now I am low on health, but I do not have enough gold to buy a desirable item yet, so I'm going to stay in this lane until I do get enough gold. However, this is kind of dangerous, but if you feel like you can sustain in the lane for quite a bit, then go ahead, knock yourself out. So I am most likely gonna die, but I'm gonna keep going. And as you can see down here in the bottom left corner, you can see your uh, amount of gold that you have. And right here is the enemy turret. Basically, it attacks everything that comes in range, and if you do, if you go in without your minions inside this green range over here, then it will, the turret will start attacking you, and each time the turret attacks you, it gains in strength. So, don't go in unless you have minions, or you're really overpowered. Alright, so I am going to recall now. As you can see, I have 1600 gold right here. And so recall is your B button, and then what you do is you press B, and it will recall you back to your base, and you will start regening health and mana. So I am going to grab this. The Stinger grants 48% attack speed and 10% cooldown reduction. That is good because it will reduce the ability the cooldown of my abilities, and it will grant 40% attack speed. And basically, I am trying to get this item right here, which gives 50% attack speed and 60 ability power. Now, basically, what you try to do is build the items that would help your particular champion. Uh, magic. Uh, characters that use magic damage would be building ability power, and characters that use uh, physical damage would be 
building attack damage and so forth and so yeah as you can see our turret is taking damage from these minions so we need to get rid of these minions right here and also to note as you can see I'm level 6 that means you can level up your R ability which is also considered your ultimate ability meaning this is probably your most powerful ability in your arsenal and whenever you are able to level up your R ability, you most likely always want to do that. And so my R ability is ho so happens to be Nauseous Trap, which what it does, it places a mushroom that goes unseen, that goes invisible, and people who step on it will make the mushroom explode and take poison damage, which is also known as magic damage. So basically the goal of the game is to get is to destroy all the turrets and get their nexus, which is right that that big crystal right there. That is the goal of the game, to destroy that nexus. As you can see, we are almost done destroying that turret right there. We leveled up again, so I'm going to level up my E ability. Oh, I forgot to mention this. Also, right next to your abilities, you also have something called a passive. This is your character passive, and all characters will have a passive that they have in-game. So mine just happens to be camouflage, so if I stand still, for about two seconds, then I will go invisible or stealth, and then no one can see me, and then when I get out of stealth, meaning when I move, I get I get 40% attack speed. And I am going to kill him. And so I am going to try to kill him as well. I am going to use my flash ability which teleports you. And I got him. So yeah, as you can see when this game has a similar kind of kill system to other games such as dominating someone, going on a rampage, a killing spree, and so forth. Also note that during regular games against other players and during multiplayer, you will not see this range of the turrets, so you won't know where the boundary the turret will attack you from. This only happens in co-op games, co-op against bot games, and custom games. So note that not you won't always see that border. As you can see, you can also give have kill assists for others. And yeah. So we're just gonna keep farming or killing minions in order to get gold to purchase our next item. And note that you also at the beginning of the game we can get something called a trinket, which is either a item that can get rid of wards or place a ward. I have gotten the ward warding trinket, which allows you to place a ward right, well, anywhere in the range, like say here. And what that does, it places a warding totem, and what that does, it gives you vision of the area, and it will also be stealthed or invisible to other units. Note that there are different types of wards that you can get in game and I will show you some of them once we get back to the shop. And as you can see my ally just died. I'll be placing an ult and another one. Use my summoner ability. And as you can see, I died right there, because my health bar was completely depleted. And here you can see your death timer, meaning how long until you respawn. Over here you can click for your death recap of, their, of your killer's items, 
the abilities that they used and how much damage they did to you. So, and also you can grab items, so I'm just gonna grab these. Boots are very important because they increase your movement speed and some other stats. And I should probably show you the wards as well. So over here you can see all the item uh, stats and what they do. Consumables, gold income, vision and trinkets. Here are your wards and your sweeping ones which get rid of trinket, I mean wards. So you have your vision ward which is visible but it will uh, reveal any invisible units in the area. And then you have your stealth ward which is invisible but only lasts for about 3 minutes. And so yeah, and then you have your health, items, your armor, magic resist. Armor prevents against attack damage, magic resist protects against magic damage. Then health regen, damage which is attack damage. Critical strike, w critical strike which in, uh, increases the chance that you will get a critical hit, which will do more damage than your normal attack. And here you have your attack speed, and then life steal, which um, basically heals you whenever you do damage to someone. And then you have ability power, which is for magic damage, cooldown reduction, which reduces uh, the cooldown of your abilities. Mana, this is the bar. However, some champions do not use mana, so for those champions, these items are useless. And then your mana regen, your boots, these increase movement speed and some other effects. And other movement items, these are, yeah. So yeah, and then, so I am going to grab an upgrade to my boots. And then we will start heading over back to our lane. So as you can see, we are winning 8-3, but team kills, the kills don't really matter as long as you have some turrets down. So as you can see, we already damn it, destroyed one turret over here. We still have to get the two turrets over here in order to get to their base. So basically in League, you try to work together with your team to destroy the enemy base and so forth. And yes. In game there are also abilities called crowd control effects that produce crowd control effects that basically impair the enemy's ability to do something. For example, my mushrooms will slow an enemy, an enemy if it uh, explodes and my blinding dart ability, my Q, will blind the target. So crowd control effects are basically anything that will slow, or snare, or basically trap someone. And here you see we have the second turret that's closest to their base. This turret happens to have a shield that you have to destroy before you can actually damage the turret. But minions, they can bypass the shield. The shield is only for champions to attack, which are our characters. Basically, we just repeat the cycle and kill them. I'm usually better at this, but right now I'm focusing on commentating on this, so it's harder to actually play the game right at the moment. And as you can see, our turret has been destroyed uh, down here. If you click on the minimap and hold, you can see what is going on around the map. So as you can see, we have two champions over there and four champions over there. One of which is about to die. Right there. So yeah, as you can see, I leveled up my R ability a second time. Your R ability, you can level up at the level 6, 11, and uh, I believe 6, 15 or 16, I think. Somewhere around that range. Of course, it could be 17 or something like that. But yeah, every time when you level up your R, you want to do that. And so... 
Oh, and then she just happened to use her R ability. So, basically you want to try to avoid getting killed. And as you can see, I slowed them. And I died again. So, yeah. Now I'm going to buy this item, which gives eight plus 80 magic damage. And I am trying to get this, which gives plus 120 ability power, or AP, and it, will, it has a passive that will increase your AP by 30%. That is a very good item for magic damage based champions. So basically when you're dead, you can move around and basically see what's going on around the map. So I am going to go help out Botwain because it seems like they are losing right now. So once again, here are your stats right here. Make sure you watch for your health bar and your mana bar so you don't run out of mana to use your abilities. And right here, we are going to team up to get this one. There you go. And over here, around the map, you see these little icons. These are monsters. These are neutral monsters. They will not attack unless attacked. And basically, when you kill them, you also get gold. However, there is something called jungling, which I will get back to in a later video. This, this tutorial is basically just a basics, not an advanced tutorial about League of Legends. So I will get to jungling in a later video, hopefully sometime soon in the future. And basically I'm just going to attack her. And we're just going to get rid of this mini wave. There's another champion over there. And there we go. As you can see, killing turrets and champions give quite a bit of gold when you dis when you kill or destroy them. So yeah. And when you attack something, you can see their... When you click, left click on something, then you will be able to see how much health and their stats they have. And... So yeah. Also, before you attempt to do any custom games or multiplayer games, I recommend going through the League of Legends official tutorial game in order to get the basics of controls, which I will not go through in this video. Right, so we're just gonna move on and kill her. Note that most League games last for about 40 to an hour minutes or so. Also, try not to attack ch other the enemy champions while they are under a turret, or else the turret will quickly target you. So make sure you don't attack the enemy champions while under a turret. As you can see, we destroyed a turret down in mid lane up in mid lane. So I'm just going to target this turret and try to kill it. Alright, we got the turret. Now we attack the champions. And I got a double kill. I will recall after I get that last kill on the minion. So, I am recalling right now. And now I will get this item. And I will start working towards this. Uh, top lane could use a bit of help. As you can see, there's a champion up there. So, I'm just going to speed my way over there. And try to defend top lane. 
Also, in League of Legends, try not to die so much and try to get at least one or one kill. Actually, no. At least try to get three kills, unless you are the support champion. Because if you do not get kills, but you die a lot, champions, then other players will call you feeding the other team and will probably act hostile to you and call you out on a bunch of things. So note that, try to get kills and try not to die. So for example, if you have zero kills and five deaths and zero assists, then you should probably start working on getting some more kills to make up for those deaths. It's also helpful to move around when you attack. So you can dodge enemy abilities if they do come. As you can see, all the base turrets now, the one in this area, instead of firing off the periodic blast of energy, you will now fire a laser. This laser, it will slow you, it will break any armor you have, and it will uh, deal continuous damage until you get out of range. So just watch out for that turret unless you have minions. Minions are very important for the, for those turrets. You can see that was an ult that was just fired. Now I'll try to kill Morgana bot right now. And as you can just see, the turret just targeted me, and again, so just watch out that you don't get damaged by the turret. Oops. As you can see, I just got a triple kill. You can go all the way up to a pentakill, but that is very rare to get for someone to get a pentakill. And I just didn't get the quadra kill though. So, yeah. I'm just gonna try to get this. Alright, we got the turret. Now over here you can see that there is an inhibitor. This is the thing right there. Hold on. Oh, oh I died right there. So I'm just gonna grab that. Um, grab that. Alright, so now you can see over here an inhibitor. What this does is you try to destroy it. And when you destroy it, you're base start spawning super minions for that particular lane. And what these super minions are, they're basically overpowered version of these guys and basically do a ton of damage towards the enemy and yeah. That's basically what you want to do and yes. So I am going to next grab a... hold on. And when you press tab, you can basically see the overview of their entire team right here. So I am going to start going for the Zanya's Hourglass, which gives 120 ability power, 50 armor, and an active. An active is basically you press the button that item is that item is in the slot number, and it will uh, activate the active ability. 
Also note that you can, uh, I forgot to mention this at the beginning, but if you cl right click on the minimap, your champion will start moving towards that location, as you can see by the white line right there. Okay, yeah, a lot of champions have been slain up here, so we're just gonna retaliate. There's one now. I was right, it was level 16 that you level up your ult for the last time. I'm just gonna try to go over here. Oh, okay. I see, how it is, just steal my kill right there. Alright, and we just keep moving towards the enemy base. As you can see, the game has been running for 28 minutes, almost about to be 29. So yeah, that proves that League of Legends games can go on for quite a while, so make sure that you don't leave during a multiplayer game. Or any game except for custom games. Because if you leave during a game, then you will be penalized for leaving the game, most likely a temporary ban from the game. So yeah, make sure you have enough time to play a game, and make sure you don't rage quit. Right, I should probably leave. I think I will recall now, because I am very low on health right now. Note that you can sell your items. And right here, you can undo your item, uh, whatever you did in the shop. But please note that whenever you leave the shop, you can't not use that, uh, button anymore until you, well, go back to the shop and do something else. And then you can undo that purchase. So basically, if you accidentally buy something you didn't want, then you can undo that. But once you leave the shop, then you can't undo that. You'll just have to sell it. And then let's keep moving towards mid lane. And there's a the turret, so I'll wait for my minions to advance. And then I'll go for the turret. Wait for my minions to advance, and then work on the next turret. So as you can see, as you as the game progresses, you you and your champions get continually continuously stronger, and be able to kill turrets faster. Yeah. And we are going to try to get the inhib the inhibitor right now. If these champions will leave me alone. Triple kill. Alright, so we will try to get the inhibitor now. As you can see, it takes a long time as this has a health pool of 4,000 health. So it is very tanky. Alright, so we destroyed the inhibitor, now ally super minions are now spawning from mid lane. So as you can see, there is one right there, that's what a super minion looks like. We are getting the nexus turret. So we have one of them down. Let's try to get out of here. Alright. And I will recall now to get my final item. Note that you can only have six items in your inventory, and plus the trinket item. So I will get my Zanya's Hourglass. And just to demonstrate now what it does, as you can see it has a 1 next to it, that means I have to press 1 to activate the, pass the active. And what my Zanya's Hourglass does is stasis champion becomes invulnerable and untargetable 
for 2.5 seconds but is unable to do anything. So yeah. Basically what it does, I'll show you right now because it's not that important right now. Basically it makes me invincible for a while, but I can't do anything while I am in that state. So yeah, that's basically what it does, and all actives have a cooldown on them. Alright, so now I'm going to try to kill this one. And as you can see, I'm snared, I can't move. That's an example of a crowd control effect. And then we're just going to... Get them. That kill. As you can see, inhibitors do respawn after a while, as indicated by this slowly moving bar. So, yeah, they do respawn, and then when they do, you have to kill them again and again and again. Alright, we got the other Nexus turret, so now when that happens, we are now free to attack the Nexus, which is what you're, which is basically the goal of the game, to destroy the Nexus of the enemy team. When you do that, you win the game. So we are at 34 minutes right now, and we are about to get the Nexus. And there we go. Displays a cool animation, and victory. So yeah, that was sorry a for that interruption. The recording just stopped when I exited the League of Legends game. But now, once you get back into the home menu, you are now presented with a end battle screen. This basically displays all the stats of the game, the amount of kills, the amount of points, and then all the kills, the champions, their gold, their minion kills, items, whatsoever. And then you can, right here, if there were other players, you would be able to add players, report players, or anything else like that. Here is a chat room that you can type messages in for everyone else to see. And basically, yeah. So yeah, this is a grid of your own stuff. And here is a graph and whatsoever. Then once you're ready to exit the battle screen, then you press the home button and there you go. So basically guys, that is a game of League and basically how you survive your um, beginning of League. So yeah, and so I made this tutorial just to make sure that noobs who are new at League do not get called out by their teammates and whatever. So yeah, uh, I'm HenryFire999, this has been a League of Legends tutorial, and I'll see you later.